Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as HUFIN News. Today is February the 2nd, 2021. We're going to give you all the update on Churchill Capital, CCIV. It's the ticket symbol. It is a SPAC. It is trying to go through a merger, i.e. some people turn with Lucid Motors, one of the uh, EV players in this space. So what we're going to do today, we're going to update you all on our prior price prediction that we did for CC CCIV. And then on top of that, we're going to anticipate where the market is going to go so that we can maintain our positions as to profitability. All right. So before I go into that, if this is your first time watching our video. Make sure before you go, hit the like button, you know, share the video, subscribe to the channel because we're here to give you all a heads up as to where the market is going to go. The unconfusing way. I mean, there's enough information already about that one can ingest and try to digest just to get a gauge as to where price is going to go. Well, for us, there is only one thing we focus in on, and that is price. Now, price moves from the trap. You guys don't know who the trap is. He is the one that moves the market. As you all can see from this particular chart, that we anticipated that the trap was going to increase the price. And it is in our CCIV Churchill Capital playlist. We did our video on the 19th of January, expecting a market in this particular spec to go higher in price. And it came to fruition literally three days into the prediction you know the trap finally met us where we expected them to go which is right there around 21 dollars. so that was 17.54 percent probability in that particular forecast now if you're still into the market today and you would have gotten out on the close yesterday you would have been up about 40 percent almost 41 percent right there taken from the trap placed right back into your account you know that's what we do we track the trapper literally we follow what he does so that we can beat him to the punch now let's get rid of that that is over let's move on and pay attention to see whether or not this trend is going to be maintained in this particular stock now first thing i'm going to do you know i always look at the overall trend into the market and obviously you can tell looking at ctiv that the market is in a uptrend you know there's no need for us to be bucking the trend we just need to follow it so right now we can create this line right here okay so this is the trend into the market in ccif now there's a lot of excitement currently for this particular spec that is why we're seeing such a strong slope into the market on this uptrend right now for ccif no doubts about it now we have relatively short amount of history for this particular stock right now okay so as you continue to see, the market doesn't necessarily change as I turn over to these multiple time frames. Okay. But generally, there's no weakness at all into the market in CCIV. What we're seeing into this particular market is definitely a massive uptrend. You guys can even see in pre-market that this current stock is up 28. Last price was at $28.10. So definitely this particular spec is garnering a lot of interest into the market. Okay. Looking at this on the two day time frame, you know, the spread on this current two day time frame lets us know that literally the interest into this particular spec is still there and that you would expect us to continue to see some movement higher in price. Looking at this on the five day time frame, even this particular instance, even though we endure some weakness on this last completed five day price bar, we were able to close higher than the close from the last five day price bar. And then on top of that, we was able to close towards the high. So that lets us know that the trap is still trying to push for higher price. We can see that and that the market is still holding this uptrend. So we're not seeing any weakness right now in the market for this particular stock. Not yet. What about on the weekly time frame? Let's see. Looking at the market right now. On the weekly time frame currently we have three days and 10 hours left but if we're able to close towards the high of this current weekly price bar on top of closing higher than last week's close then definitely the demand into the market in this particular spec is still there and there's no need for us to try to come in and break that trend just yet okay now one thing i will say as we continue to watch this trap trade is we need to keep our eyes focused on how low we cannot go okay the uptrend is going to be maintained until we see this trap break our line okay 
So let's go ahead and do this real quick. I'm going to continue to play some of the strength into the market um, for CTIV. And we're going to hold some support into the market right there around $23. Definitely cannot see the trap break that because we get close towards our ascending line around that $23 area. We're off to the races. So now what do you all think into the market for this particular SPAC? Are we going to continue to see higher price? Are we going to break $30, $40, $50? Where do you think this market is going to go for this particular stock? Leave us a comment in the comment section. Where would you also TP out at into the market for this particular SPAC? You know, for us, and then before I let you all go, Definitely we would skim off a little bit around $27 because that is where the last market high was at. It was around $27.25. We would skim off a little bit there, which would be about 8.5%. All right. So now it's your turn. Make sure you're in position. Questions, comments, let us know. Make sure you maintain a profitability. Now you know what to do. Trade different.